Hi everyone, I'm going to reveal to you a message that I received today. Um, I'm going to try to be uh, a bit more um, rapid in uh, getting these out to you. So be blessed. Thank you. Children and the whole world, it is I that reveals all things. The justice of God is not revealed through the law, but the law and the prophets testify to the justice of God. This is not to say that the word of God is without effect, because not all are under grace. Not all are the children of the promise. Which is why I ask, should you not submit? Should you not submit to your spiritual father and obtain the gift of life? If your earthly father has chastised you, should I not chastise you even more to give you everlasting life? If all glorify me, how could you be punished? I am the King of Kings. My children testify of this truth. Whoever follows after the truth hears my voice. Consequently, speaking in tongues is a sign for non-believers. But prophecy is a sign for the believers. If the scriptures are still hidden, they are only so to them that perish, to the unbelievers, those whose intelligence has been blinded by the God of this century. If you have been granted the Holy Spirit, it is I that has given testimony of you. Then there is no more difference in the body of Christ. For they that I have given testimony of, that I have granted my Holy Spirit to, are they that have purified their hearts by the faith of Jesus Christ. I am the chief cornerstone, the one the world has rejected. I am returning. Some will not recognize me. You will see the signs, but you shall not all recognize me. The time of navigation comes. You shall be given into the hands of the law and into the hands of the army. As discord increases, for your own safety, you shall be removed and placed in safekeeping until such a time as I make a footstep, a, sorry guys, a footstool out of your enemies. I just want to take a second here to comment because I seem to have made, uh, given a lot of messages lately where he's given this to me as a message. So. I think it's really important. So maybe it's just something you could incorporate in your prayers or something. Thanks. All you people know it. May the whole world know. It is through the name of Jesus Christ, the one that you crucified, and that God resurrected on the third day, that you can be saved and be able to stand. Come aboard, for we are boarding. Be attentive to my disciples, the things they will say, and the miracles they shall perform. If you do not heed my word and my warnings, you shall be judged by the law, removed and brought to prison. For the wisdom of the world is folly. I know your thoughts, though you believe you are wise. 
they are vain. Only faith can save you, not the law, not the government. But if I remove the law, if I remove the government, there shall only be room left for faith. Tribulation and anguish is coming to all those who do wrong. Irritation and anger to those who dispute and have a rebellious spirit. They rebel against the truth of God and follow after injustice. Go from one place to the next and preach the word. Only in the name of Jesus Christ, the truth about his death and resurrection has the power to save. Each one of you know that the one who returns a lost sheep back onto me, the one who saves a sinner, you shall be saving a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins. Things will get progressively worse. Discord shall increase. Imprisonment. Only your faith in Jesus Christ will save you. The law will testify of the justice of God, as will my prophets. My children are poised to inherit my kingdom. Some of you are still children in your walk. Things you are master of all. Sorry guys. Though you are master of all, you are still under the will of tutors and administrators until such a time that has been marked by the Father. Anguish and tribulation to those who do wrong, but glory, honor, and peace to the one who does good. Jesus is the rock the solid rock you are to build on, the rock on which you place your hope. This reason to hope should also push you to strive for a life of sainthood. For you were not redeemed by gold or silver, but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In this process of sanctification, you should find inspiration in the example that I have shown you myself, for no sin could be found in me, not any found in my mouth. I that was mistreated, but never threatened, but rendered myself unto the one that, that judges all things. Do not be rendered foolish by the blind of this generation who do not see the glory of Christ revealed in the scriptures. For the glory of Christ is the very image of God. Pray then, pray always, that while the promise to enter in the rest of God seems to still be valid, that none of you be too late. I exhort you to practice mutual love, humility, while following my example. For although a king, I came as a servant. I am your model to follow. I am the cornerstone of hope. Shine as a torch in your cities, while applying your styles of life to the teachings of the gospel. If you are imprisoned, keep the faith, the hope, and the courage. Be peaceful and happy while in chains. The spirit of the humility of Christ, of which you are disciples, will shine the true spirit of the Son of God that inhabits you. Lord God, Yeshua. Thanks for watching, guys.